All right, so I don't typically complain, I don't typically vent, but I'm going to today. As many of you guys know, I built my business as kind of the ultimate customer experience where we have kind of transformed the way we do things to where it's mostly automated. I don't have to interact with customers. I don't have to talk with customers all the time, especially residential. You know, we've got it streamlined to a point where um, everything from point A to point Z is essentially driven by technology as opposed to, um, you know, me talking on the phone or salespeople talking on the phone. So with all of that being said, right across the lagoon, uh, we've got a neighbor. They're from California. They are incredibly wealthy. They own multiple Gulfstream jets. Uh, when I first started, I had to sign a non-disclosure form. They didn't want anybody to know who they were, what their names were, anything like that. And for good reason, uh, relatively uh, famous folks. And the reason they have this almost five, uh, probably a $525,000 house is essentially it's a hotel because they don't want to stay at a hotel when they come to have their Gulf Streams serviced. Well, they've got a property management company who I've been dealing with who, you know, basically works on the daily operational side of the uh, upkeep of the house. And the guy that I've been working for, super easy, he'd call me, say, hey, come and do the house, come do the driveway, do this, do that. And that was that. They brought in a new property manager. Uh, he calls and he wants, to, he wants to meet me so we can go over some things. Look, we're washing the house. It's just a big brick house. He wants to go over things and talk about things and point out specific areas. Now, honestly, that's not how I operate and I don't have time for that. But after he kind of complained to the other property manager that I was kind of unwilling to go over there, that guy called and was like, hey man, just if you could just walk over and talk to the guy. So I did, dude was super annoying and just, just talking, talking, talking. We're washing a house. It's gonna take an hour and a half, that's it. Like. Your price is going way up because you're causing me to spend more time with you. And that's kind of why I wanted to talk about this today is the more time that you're spending, you need to increase your price. If, if someone is gonna be a pain in the butt, charge more. If you know that a customer is gonna be a pain in the butt, charge more. Like, so I was out having lunch on the back deck with my wife and I see my tech getting walked around by the dude. He, I knew that he was gonna be there at 1230. My guy's there, and now they're doing like the second walkthrough. I've already given him all the instructions, and anyway, so I'm gonna walk over there and kind of show you what I'm talking about. Uh, also, FinPrint, thank you. These things are absolutely gorgeous. These are for the landscape business, and uh, we love them. So I'm gonna walk over, back over there, and kind of see what's going on. but you know, the price is gonna go up even more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna increase the price. Um, I haven't even quoted it, but it's going up simply because this guy is annoying. If any of you guys have been with me for a while, um, you'll remember the video I was flying a drone because we were cleaning that house and I had just gotten a new drone. That's my house there. And uh, I flew it into that tree and it went into that lagoon. So. I hate that tree. All right, so this is the house. And as you can see, it's just a one story, nothing special, all brick, relatively clean. I mean, we clean it every year. And so I'm gonna walk around and I can almost guarantee this dude is gonna be hanging over my tech shoulder. So let's see. I've worked really hard on setting the expectations for our customers on what to expect when we show up for a job. From our website to the emails the customers get in preparation for their appointment. Really just highlighting the things that they need to be aware of, the things that they can do to help us prepare for their service. And I realize not everybody reads these things and also get that there are some people that just like to take a more active role in the process. But that slows us down, it impedes the workflow and can really wreak havoc on our schedule. Most customers hire us because they don't have the time nor the inclination to do it themselves, and we appreciate that. Otherwise, we wouldn't be in the business. And those are the great customers because you can get in and out, do your initial pre-inspection, do your customer walkthrough, do the work, and then ask if they'd like to do a final walkthrough just to make sure everything meets their expectations, and then you're out of there. 
invoice is emailed, payment is received, and then we do our thing to make sure they're gonna call us back year after year. It's those customers that understand we are professionals. They understand that we know what we're doing and their property is in good hands. I don't tell my dentist how to clean my teeth or ask my cardiologist to walk me through the EKG process. I trust that they're trained and knowledgeable and that's why I chose them. Nine out of 10 times, there's never an issue. But every once in a while, you get someone that wants to follow you around, point out the things that were missed, even when you haven't even started cleaning that side of the house. Maybe I'm being a little harsh here. I don't know, tell me what you think in the comment section below. And also, check out the first link in the description and the comment section if you wanna learn about how to get off the truck and learn how I've been quoting and selling and running a highly profitable pressure washing business from my office for over two decades. So as you could see, we did have a helper and that happens on occasion. But the important thing for you to remember as a business owner and somebody that's doing everything possible to make the most money possible is be a good steward of your time. And when I say that, you have to set the standard, you have to set the expectations early on. If you've got somebody that's going to be following you around, that's gonna be, you know, wasting your time for all intents and purposes, you need to let them know, look, I'd love to stay here and talk, but I've got a job to do. We've got other things scheduled. And because of that, I'm gonna get to work. We'll do a walkthrough when we're all done. And after that, if you've got any questions, I would love to answer them. But let me get the job done first before you start pointing things out. And let's face it, people like to watch. They've got questions. They wanna know the process. And while that's all well and good, this isn't the time nor the place to do that. They can go on YouTube and watch someone wash a house, really. But, you know, we have to get in, we have to get out, we have to be efficient, we have to be good stewards of our time so we can be as profitable as possible. Now, I know that sounds a little harsh, but that is the reality of it. Customers are great. Customers can also not be so great. And as long as you set the expectations early on, do a pre-walkthrough, do a post-walkthrough. Give them every opportunity to ask questions, but while you're working, just ask that they stay away. I don't know. All right, man, that's all I've got. Just had to make that video today. I've calmed down a little bit, but we'll talk. See ya.